Good morning, Love Wildcats. I am your host, Ethan Hunt. Welcome to the morning announcements. I am your other host, Xander Matos. Today is Thursday, October 28th. Today is a C day on our schedule. Today's hot lunch is barbecue chicken sandwich. Today we celebrate National Immigrants Day. The United States of America is known as the world's melting pot, and every year on October 28th, National Immigrants Day gives us a reason to reflect on just how unique that is. As Americans, we are proud of our long history of welcoming immigrants from all parts of the world and value their contributions that add zest to our nation's blend of cultures, customs, and traditions. What's an immigrant? It's good to move somewhere else. They might find the vaccine for corona. Okay, kids, are you ready to have a conversation about immigration? Let's just do it. Immigration means that that you move in your country to another country. A new continent, maybe? They get all their bags and move there. Like my parents. Someone goes to California. I mean, the United States. You know anybody that immigrated? My Nana, she immigrated from St. Kitts. My abuela and my abuelo, who also came from Colombia, and I think they got married in the United States, and then they had my dad. They might have along. Your ancestors. <laughs> yeah, mate. Why do you think people would want to leave their home country and come to the U.S.? Well, they would want a better life. Maybe they didn't like their place or something. Or if something bad happened in their town, like a natural disaster, they can get some fresh air. They can see cool things. How does this make you feel and why? For the people, I think it would be hard. Especially to people who aren't being treated fairly. Sometimes in the U.S. it just gets worse. Sometimes. What if you were going to another country or continent because your home wasn't safe and you weren't welcomed? But that isn't fair. Why is immigration important? So other people from other countries can teach us new things from their country. Why? Because I think everyone should have a fair life. They might beat a world record. They might, um, they might help a lot of people. They might find the vaccine for Corona. They might, they can do anything. I feel good that they're moving somewhere that they can get more of what they need. If we didn't have immigration, this, all my friends that in reality, if I haven't met any of one of them, I wouldn't have made any of my favorite friends. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> and what did you learn today? I learned that um, it's, hap like, it's happening right now. I know immigrations now. What other questions do you have? <laughs> I think I've covered it. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the Webb Way to be. At Webb Elementary School, we believe in the web way to be. We are responsible, we are respectful, we are productive, and we keep ourselves and others safe. Please take your seat. A very happy birthday to those who are celebrating today. Today's Wildcat of the day is Connor Rosales. Connor is off to a great start in his fifth grade art. His ability to focus in on what he is doing is amazing. Connor is extremely talented and creative. Miss Reepa is super proud of you. If you see Connor, be sure to say congratulations. Congratulations! It's time for the joke of the day. 
What did the tomato say to the mushroom? You look like a fungi. Let's take a minute to be mindful. This week's quote is, Conflict and resolution are two sides of the same coin. Harash Sippy. Thanks. See you tomorrow. And have a sparkling day at web.